All right, guys, I found a 3D benchmark on the open store for Ubuntu Touch. Thought I might run it on a few phones for you guys. I got the Pixel 3a, Volophone, Nexus 5, and Nexus 7. I also have the Pine phone, but unfortunately, it just crashes anytime you try to run it. Didn't even pull up. There you go, it just crashes, so. Guess we won't include the pine phones. Here it is, though. Don't know if there's anything you want to look at. Here. There you go. Anyways, let's go ahead and get these benchmarks opened up. And I'll do the Volaphone and the Pixel 3a together and the Nexuses or Nexi, however you say that, together. So let's start opening up on the Vola and the Pixel and then the Nexus devices. Oh, it looks like, looks like I missed. So let's try that again, though the second time isn't going to be as accurate as the first time opening. Alright, let's start with the Pixel and the Vola again. We're going to do graphics test now. And the next side. I will say while these are going, out of all these Linux phones, I'd say right now my best experience is by far the Pixel 3a. I was having issues with the Vola phone um, that led me to buy the Pixel 3a, but the Pixel 3a I think had the same problem and I found a workaround. The workaround was to disable uh, 4G connectivity. Apparently if, uh, let's see, what was it? Mm, I can't remember. A newer Android version. If they connect to 4G, they will break, uh, SMS. A little bit of a tip for you guys. Nexus 5 works fine out of the box. As a matter of fact, I was dailying that for quite some time. And the tablet I got to install in a car as a head unit but I haven't gotten around to that don't know if I will uh, I've been using it as an e-reader And if you guys want me to do any other comparisons between the phones, feel free to just ask in the comments. Constructive criticism is always welcome as well. I feel this test could be a little bit more difficult to run. The Pixel says it got an average of 60 FPS on all, all three tests. Uh, the Vola, you can see it's lacking a bit compared to the Pixel 3a. And then the, uh, let's see here, the Nexus. Both these are, the, this is the first time I've run it on both these devices. Uh, they look uh, they're a lot they're a little bit closer than I was expecting uh, the Nexus 7 honestly feels quite a bit slower than the Nexus 5 in day-to-day -day use 
There you go. Hope you enjoyed the video.